when and why did you decide to get into uh, into this? Um, last year, about in uh, December, I actually thought about it for a good year before, prior to that, but I was looking up actually the pet of the year for 08. She was on TV and she was doing this like uh, reality show. So I was watching that and I was like, I kind of want to do what she does. So what I did is I just looked up things she did and then I started shooting. And that's how I ended up here. It's kind of weird how that all happened and then I'm the pet of the year for 2010. And when you say you're the pet of the year, is it? do you think it's the same as being a playboy or a playmate of the year? No, I think it's different. I think it's different. I mean, the magazines are sort of the same, but I feel like Penthouse uh, has a little bit more to it, a little bit more kick, you know? You get more with it. Mm -hmm. I don't feel that, Pen that, you know, Playboy, it's a little, what would you say, reserved, a little bit more reserved. You're young. Me? Yeah. How old am I? 23. No. 24. 26. 26. Okay, <laughs> 26. Well, How does the family feel about you doing this? Um, they're okay, I told them. Yeah. yeah. Um, like, my cousin just really, he's the same age as me. He doesn't like to hear about it, because I guess, you know, I'm his cousin. But <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. He doesn't really like to hear about it. I kind of ruin it for him. So, um, well, cousins get together in Texas. Oh, no, they do not. Yes, That's in do. Arkansas. That's in Louisiana. Oh, it's Arkansas. Okay. <laughs> That's Louisiana. Or Louisiana, Arkansas, right. Texas, no. But uh, my uh, grandmother wasn't too happy, but I had to tell her. We're you, really close. You were a bad girl in high school? Yeah, I got in a lot of trouble in high school. I did. Like what? what? Yeah, yeah, let's have it. Um, just, I don't know, with getting caught with boys. I mean, it was a bad, I got caught everything. I got caught drinking. I got caught with boys. I got caught having sex. It was like one thing. I in school? Not, not in school. Oh. No. When did you lose your virginity? I was 15. That's a fun age, right? Yeah, that was a good That's age. That's good. I was 22. Well, I was a fat pig, though. My 15, and I'm like, wow, she's a baby. Yeah. 15. So you ever get caught with a girl? Did I ever get caught with a girl? Yeah. No. That would be worse, actually. Why? Where did you get caught? I would disappoint the Baptist family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, where did you get caught having sex at? Um, well, the way I got caught is my parents were moving from one house to another, and my parents said, leave your old furniture because we're going to buy you new furniture. And I said, okay. So my dad's workers, and as a contractor, decided to have all his workers move all the furniture out. I think that they were going to go throw it away. And there were uh, condom wrappers behind the bed when I was 15, <laughs> like torn wrappers. And they took it to my dad and were like, uh, we know your daughter's young, um, but we found condom wrappers behind her bed. What are you doing? you got to be more careful than that. Huh? I know. <laughs> you know, it was probably the guy's fault. He was probably throwing them back there. <laughs> I think so. Different guys? No, it was one at the time. Okay. That was pretty good. Okay, you said <laughs> what's, what's sexy to you is a guy who was confident. Yes. But not cocky. What's the right. difference? Um, confident as in they're not insecure. Like they're, you know, and not cocky. I don't, I don't know how you would mix that. Well, can you can you tell by looking at a guy if he's confident? Yes. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> Point of Doug. Speaking of Doug, yeah. Douglas. You um, can't you honestly know, like you know right how away. guys are. Like they'll try really hard and those are the ones that are probably the most insecure. Just, you know, if you be yourself and... What, what's, try, what's try hard? Drop a line on you? Yeah. Just no line? To totally sweat you? Yeah. Yeah. I like someone that just introduces himself and is a person. And then I'll probably be all over him. Hi, I'm Doug. Hi. Well, there we go. I'll be right back. Do you watch the, uh, the Jersey Shore? You know, sad to say, I think everyone here does. It's he addicting. Well, I, I can't watch. To me, it's one episode. I don't. It's funny as I don't look for it. It's just every time I turn MTV on, it's on. it's on. Like, what's up with that? I'll sit there and be like, I bet you anything Jersey Shore's on. It's always on. <laughs> but it's interesting. It's like a different show. I've never... Well, they're not human. No, they're, they're, they don't look human. No, either. they're crazy. They're, yeah, they're orange. And that too. one girl, she's so tan. <coughs> oh, she's so tan. Paulie she's knows so her name, tan. probably. Suki. It's Suki. It's, it's the fake tan. The it's one the fake that got tan. hit? Yeah it's, a, yeah, it's the fake tan. What do you think of those kind of guys? Horrible. I would never in a million years date a guy like that. The Guidos? No. No? Why? You're looking at me funny. <laughs> no, because I can't stand the show. Paul loves I would, it. He's fascinated by it. I'm, I'm a it's little bit TV. fascinated by it because I like drama shows like The Bad Girls Club and all that, but I would not date a guy like that. There's no way. Taylor Vixen, Pet of the Year with us, ESPN Radio 1100.
What really turns me on is being with a guy who is truly into sex, not just for himself, but for me. I think I know what that means. Can you explain that, though? Um, it means when a guy's just not trying to get off on his own, but actually tries to get you off as well. And well said. And well said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you yeah. know there are a lot of guys that just really don't care. They really don't. Maybe that was when I was younger. Not okay. so much. Anymore. Would you, uh, would you ask, would you go out or hit on a married guy? Because it's a challenge. He's engaged. I'm married. What would you? It seems like women say that guy's a challenge. He's taken. I'm going to go for him. Well, those are the girls that want to obviously change guys. You know how a girl they'll find a guy and be like, okay, I like him, but now I'm going to change him. Like I try not to change guys, so I wouldn't really. That's what girls want to do. They want you to get you away from that. That's a challenge. I don't personally want to mess with that. I don't want to mess with someone that's married. Well, I'm not happy, though. You're not? Okay, no. then we're okay, then. We okay. <laughs> All right, sushi this weekend, then? 